morning. Welcome to Praying Together Online. We are glad you have joined us this morning as we gather from various places to pray together. I was excited this past Sunday uh, when after church, a family stepped up to speak to me and told me they were from Pittsburgh and they watch and join in with our Praying Together Online broadcast each and every Wednesday. So we're glad you're here. We're glad each of you have joined us. If your platform allows, please like us. Uh, you can send us a note, let us know where you're watching from as well. We would love to hear from you. Uh, you can join us at any time via Facebook, uh, YouTube, or our St. Andrew by the Sea website. The last two weeks, we have been talking about God as loving, caring Father. Uh, we focused on Jesus' words when he said, if your human father, less than perfect human parents, wouldn't give you a stone if you asked for a fish, how much more would God not do that? But give you good things. The image of God as Father was Jesus' primary image of who God is, uh, not just Father, but loving, caring Father. It's similar to the Old Testament image of God as Shepherd. Both loving, caring Father and Shepherd watches over, cares for their children, provides for their children or for their flock. Last week, we began to talk about uh, an idea uh, that we use sometimes, the will of God. Uh, there are times I have, and I'm sure you may have as well said, at times when we can't explain why something happened. Why did this tragedy take place? Why uh, did uh, a person die much younger than what they should have? So often we say, it must be the will of God. Leslie Weatherhead wrote a book many years ago uh, with that title, The Will of God. And I, I want to talk about his understanding of God's will, not as well as a framework for uh, us to look at life and to think about what is God's will and what is not God's will. Weatherhead divided God's will into uh, three categories. These categories are, can be fluid. They're not just black and white categories. But he talked about the intentional will of God, the circumstantial will of God, and the ultimate will of God. Today I want to talk about the intentional will of God before we have our time Prayer. The intentional will of God was born out of the beginning of creation. Of course, you know that story from Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. You remember uh, the Genesis account goes through a very orderly creation. Uh, things are created, and at the end of each one, it says, God saw it and it was good. And finally, when all of creation is complete, God looks at his created order and he says, it is very good. In this good creation, God placed Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Now, those two, uh, those two uh, pieces of the story are symbolic. Adam and Eve are symbolic for humanity. The Garden of Eden is symbolic of paradise. In other words, when God created the world and all things in it, God created it as paradise. And in this paradise, God placed the human family. This is why we have inside of ourselves a longing for a good world, a world that is filled with 
uh, love and joy and peace, and harmony. Uh, you remember the, uh, the song we sing sometimes in church and at other places, uh, Let There Be Peace on Earth, that was written, I believe, in the 1950s. Uh, but listen to some of the words of that, that song. Let there be peace on earth, the kind that was meant to be. The writer of that song is telling us that there is a way of life that was meant to be, that God created it to be this way. It's the way of peace. With God as our Father, brothers all are we. Let us walk with each other in perfect harmony. He's talking about paradise. He's talking about God's intentional will that God in the very beginning intended us to live in paradise. In this good and perfect, we could say, world. We'll talk more about uh, the world and our human existence in this world the next couple of weeks, but I just want to focus in on that intentional will of God. This is not a scientific statement, it's a theological statement telling us that from the beginning this world has purpose and it was created with purpose to be good, a good place for you and I to live. Uh, this is that inner longing we have within our own souls for peace and harmony. It's what we pray for when we pray the Lord's Prayer and we say, Thy will be done. We are praying for this good and perfect world uh, to be reborn and renewed in our midst. It's what we pray for when we pray, forgive us as we forgive others. We're praying for a world of forgiveness where we are forgiven, where we forgive others, and that extends all across the planet so that the world is a world where forgiveness reigns and rules in the hearts of people. When we pray the Lord's Prayer, we are praying that the inner resolve, that we have the inner resolve to resist the temptation to make the world less than what God created it to be. And as you know, we are always tempted to make the world less than what it should be. But we pray the Lord's Prayer asking that we not fall into those temptations. So in our prayer today, I want us to uh, lift up God's goodness and to pray that this good world come to pass because that is, after all, God's original intention for not only our world, but for you and for me. Would you join me as we bow and as we pray together? Let us pray. God of all that is good and right in the world, we give you thanks. Indeed, we say, as the writer of James says, every generous act of giving, every perfect gift comes from you. We join all creation in joy and praise because you, O oh Lord, in nature, in your actions are good, and your goodness is present throughout all the earth and the worlds beyond this world. Open our eyes to your goodness reaching out to us this day. Show us your mercy and love as we share good words, deeds of kindness, simple acts of mercy with your children. Help us to trust when life seems to turn against us that you are still and always good. Like a child lost in the grocery store, unable to find its parent, so many are searching and longing for you. Move us to be the real presence of your goodness to those who struggle and to those who feel abandoned this day. 
even though we speak of your goodness and believe all things, that in all things you are good, we are bombarded with doubts and questions beyond our grasp. We want to believe, but the experiences of life attack the faith we hold so dearly. Lead us through times of confusion and conflict. Hold our hand even when we feel nothing or no one is there. Help us to take each step by faith until faith returns once again. Hear our prayers for those who live day by day in danger, those who cannot move forward for being pulled backwards, those who climb a major peak in their lives only to fall down the mountain again. Hear our prayers for those who live under the oppression of others, the people of Ukraine, those who live under dictatorial regimes, those who flee for their lives but have nowhere to go, those who are having to pack their belongings because the rent has been raised with no real good reason. Here are our prayers for our leaders and the leaders of all nations and all peoples. Free their hands and hearts from the need of power so they can strive together for the well-being of their and all people everywhere. Hear our prayer for those who are sick, those who are facing surgery, those who question each day why they're still here on the earth. Grant each of them a measure of faith, hope, and love that they need for this day, knowing tomorrow will have enough troubles for itself. We give you thanks, O Lord, and we ask that you use us as you will for your kingdom's sake, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Praying Together Online. Uh, we would invite you to join us uh, at both of our campuses uh, for worship on Sunday morning. You can do that in person at our Pope Avenue campus, 9 o'clock and 11.15 a.m. Uh, you can uh, join us for a live stream uh, at the Pope Avenue campus at 11.15 uh, or at our Bluffton campus on Persimmon Street in Bluffton, South Carolina, 9 a.m. and 10.30. Both of those services are live streamed. Uh, we also welcome your prayer request. Please. Uh, let us know if we can pray for you. We would be more than happy to do so. Until next week, carry this with you. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Amen. Amen.